Module 2, Unit 3, and this will be on reading. What is reading? Reading is a visual process of getting back and understanding information stored in a written form. It is classified as a receptive skill because you take in or receive information through reading. A look at the nature of reading will reveal that three pertinent questions come to mind when we talk about reading. Number one, what do we read? Two, how do we read? Three, why do we read? Let's now look at these questions. What do we read? We read mostly what is written on paper or any writable surface. Example, textbooks, magazines, newspapers, handbills or pamphlets. These we call print. We can also read on screen via computers or the internet. And these are non-print. How do we read? For most of us, for most of us, we use our eyes, but the blind or visually impaired will use the hands on the braille. The braille is a system of printing in which the letters of the alphabet and numbers are printed as raised dots that can be read with the fingers by people who are blind or partially sighted. We read at different speeds for different purposes of reading. These are previewing. Here, you get a general idea of what the text is about without really reading the whole text. Skimming. You do a selective reading method to get an overall impression. Scanning. This involves quick reading with quick eye movements to locate specific information. And detailed reading. This is a more focused and concentrated reading. Why do we read? This explains our purpose or reason for reading. It could be for pleasure, information, or general understanding. Pleasure reading is an independent recreational reading done at your own time and own free will and geared towards entertainment. Reading for information, on the other hand, involves a more articulated and attentive reading. An example is your study reading while reading for general understanding involves reading to get a general overview of the text. You can apply this to any text as it is not limited to any particular form. Reading strategies. To achieve efficient reading, you need to apply strategies. Before reading, employ prior knowledge in assessing the topic you are about to read Make predictions about its probable meaning and get a sense of the overall meaning. During reading, evaluate your understanding and comprehension of the text by questioning, thinking and reflecting on the ideas, information found in the text. After reading, reflect on the ideas and information you have gathered. Relate what you have read to your own experiences and prior knowledge. Advantages of learning through reading. Some of the advantages are vocabulary expansion, improved language skills, expansion of knowledge base, exploration of new ideas, stimulation of imagination and creativity, memory improvement, improved focus and concentration, and a strong analytical and thinking skill. Bad reading habits. Regression. This is the practice of rereading the same information over and over again. Vocalization and subvocalization. This is when you pronounce the words while reading. Reading one word at a time. This is another bad reading habit. And um, distractions and loss of attention. So much for today. Please refer to your course material for further reading. Thank you.